hi everyone welcome on back it's my first video since getting married we recently got married last month and i'm so excited just to share little stories and things with you all if you do not follow me on instagram or tiktok i created a little video um with what was inside our welcome bag. So I plan on doing one with my bridesmaid bags. And I figured here on YouTube, I would just expand a little bit more on some really important details. So I wanted to make this video for my brides and just talk about some things that I had with me on my wedding day and leading up to the wedding day that were super helpful and sweet and memorable. And just like all the little, the little things. I'm getting right into the first product, which also happens to be the sponsor of this video. It is My Mighty Patches by Hero Cosmetics. Here's what the box looks like. I'm going to have a link in the description as well. Brittany will save you 15% off and you'll also get free shipping if you spend $35 or more. And this is what they look like. What I love about this is you actually see it working. I personally love this stuff whenever I get a blemish. Like I'm one of those people that likes to take care of it on my own and I want to do it in a safe and effective way so you really see all the gunk and whatnot just come out of it completely when you use these patches. They are so easy to just stick on. So if you're getting ready for the wedding or the rehearsal dinner, you can stick it on. It'll really just clean out your skin. I think all skin is beautiful, but to also have it feel just clean and refreshed is really nice, you know? And this is definitely way better than a cream or popping your pimple because it's really going to naturally extract everything coming out of your face. It's also vegan, cruelty free, FDA approved, all of those good things. And it's also available worldwide. So I cannot recommend this enough. If you have a big event coming up or if you're just like lounging around watching TV, you just stick it on. It's so funny. Sometimes I have forgotten that it's on and I just start talking to someone. My best friend, Julie, actually just told me she like ran two errands and like forgot hers were on. So it happens. It's just, it's so natural. It doesn't really bother you. You like forget it's there. So don't forget to take your little patch off so your skin can and breathe and be glowing. I just think everyone deserves to feel great in their skin no matter what that is or what that looks like. Um, I want you to just feel your best. So if you want to check out Hero Cosmetics and if you want to check out my Mighty Patch, I have the original. Uh, you could use the code Brittany. It'll save you 15% off at checkout and then you can get uh, free shipping on orders $35 or more. And I will put that link right here on the screen and it is in the description. And thank you so much to Hero Cosmetics for partnering with me. Love, love, love your stuff. Okay, so the second product would have to be a good pair of pajamas. I think it's important to have pajamas you feel comfortable in the night before the wedding and morning of. And oh my gosh, I was trying to figure out how I would tell you all this story. I went to the emergency room the night before the wedding. Can you even believe? I feel like it was probably one of my biggest nightmares. If you follow me on Instagram, I've opened up about just some reactions that I get sometimes to stress, like my lip blows up or my eye. It's definitely a result of my PTSD and I haven't gotten a reaction in a really long time. Um, but the night of the wedding, I just like... We got back from the rehearsal dinner. It was getting all comfy. It was in my comfy pajamas. And I realized that my lip was feeling a little tingly. And within an hour, it just completely blew up. And it was to the point where, like, it was hard to close my mouth. It was, like, beyond an allergic reaction. So, um... What really scared me was like when my face was tingling, I'm like, it's time to go to the emergency room. So my sweet fiance at the time took me without even thinking twice. And he of course wasn't allowed to go back there with me. And the whole time I was back there, I was just thinking like, oh, I'm getting married <laughs> like this morning, you know, cause it was 3 a.m. and it was the morning of my wedding. And um, I was just thinking about how much I, I wish he could be back there with me. And it was super emotional and I had to get a shot in my leg, which is never fun. But I'm so thankful for the nurses and the doctors over there because it went down. I left feeling so much better. As I was checking out, the woman was like, who's your emergency contact? And I said my now husband's name and I was just crying so much, but it made for the most perfect valves the next, well, that morning, later that morning. Um, or I should say evening because it was an evening wedding. But I did put that in my vows and I talked about how lucky I feel that he is my emergency contact. So 
yes i wish you all to find an emergency contact that you love so very much but anyways yeah so i went to the emergency room the night before which was honestly no fun and i was so upset i was like i am not going to let my ptsd win right now or anxiety like i really need to get it together i need to hold it together um but that's the thing it's like you don't always need to hold it together i was so mad at myself for putting so much pressure on myself like oh you have to get it together and i felt like when i just relaxed and i let go i naturally started to feel better and i'm so thankful for my friend stephanie she's made a video with me before she prayed with me in the morning over facetime and i i feel like i couldn't have gotten through the day without her so super thankful but back to what i was saying the first jammies were from cozy earth You've probably heard about them, but they are the softest pajamas ever. I got a pair from my sister, my best friend, and my mom, and my mother-in-law, and they loved them. They were so comfortable, and I got myself a pair as well. I wore them the night before. I also have them in white. They're just super cozy, and you want to be cozy the night before your wedding. Then, day of my wedding, I changed into my favorite pajamas ever you've probably seen them from daily sleeper so mine are from nadine Murabi. i'll put a little picture here they are so cute they are like silky they have little pearl buttons feathers on the arms and the legs i'm not gonna lie i was stepping on the feathers a little bit and they were coming right off but they were so comfy and so fun and honestly one or two feathers came off but i'm staring at them right now and they are thriving so get yourself a fun pair of pajamas or a robe or just something that you feel comfortable in or feel like you in. I, I you will not regret it it will be so much fun in pictures as well and i do like the button because you can easily take it off when you're done with the makeup so next thing i highly recommend is either a film camera or a polaroid camera um, my film camera was definitely an investment. It was something that I bought vintage. You can get those on like eBay or Etsy. You have to source them because they're super old. But I love my Polaroid as well. It takes the cutest pictures. I'll insert some of them on the screen for you. And that was so much fun to just give to someone while I was getting ready. Um, I feel like it's something that you don't need to worry about. But you can look back on the pictures. And actually when we came back in from the wedding night... Um, the woman who helped us clean and put our room back together like laid out the Polaroids all cute so I could see them and it was just such a happy surprise to come back to and a really nice memory so highly recommend a Polaroid my friend Mason who's a photographer got me a black and white uh, Kodak camera and those pictures came out super cool we brought that to the wedding but if you want that for getting ready purposes that's fabulous as well skipping back to beauty an ice roller I'm so thankful I brought my ice roller with me so I got a little ice bucket and I put my ice roller in there and it felt so good in the morning really needed it especially after like coming from the emergency room next thing I recommend is a journal I brought my five minute journal I'll link all this stuff for you in the description having this journal and looking back on how I was feeling the night before and then reflecting on the actual wedding day was so special to me I feel like it's something you can rip out after and put in your wedding album you can show it to your kids one day or if it's just something for yourself it's so nice and so magical just to have and to to look back on so definitely bring a journal if you are into that it also just helps with grounding yourself and reflecting and bring a nice pen there's nothing nothing worse than a bad hotel pen so get yourself a nice pen okay so the next is something that i feel like i don't know i didn't read too much about i'm just really big on smells like my classroom has this vanilla scent my students would tell you about i love candles they just really calm me down so i brought two different things for a scent i brought a mini candle which a lot of hotels don't allow you to do it but some of them do so you just have to ask um so you could do a candle or you could do a diffuser and i brought both and just having that aroma in the room really helped calm me down i will tell you i had the diffuser going friday so on Saturday I just didn't want to smell that because it was reminding me of when I didn't feel good and how to go to the hospital so maybe you know pick a smell that just calms you and grounds you but the candle was just chef's kiss so my candle was from Veluspa which is one of my favorite candle brands and I did an ocean smell and I'm going to talk about this in my bridesmaid video I got mini ones for my vendors and my bridesmaids I just wanted them to remember that day and I felt like we were right on the ocean so I wanted 
the room to smell like that i wanted that smell to be connected to the day and that way you'll always have something you'll remember you can do that with perfume as well the perfume that i chose was the perfume that i've always worn on our date so it just reminds me of my husband i brought my barefoot dreams robe which was so nice um my husband got that for me the week of our wedding which was really sweet of him and it's like the coziest thing ever so i brought that i brought my barefoot dreams little throw blanket um, I already told you that I brought the journal. I brought my heating pad. So just things that I have at home that make me feel comfortable. I mean, some of you might be able to just like sleep anywhere and be okay, but I'm like such a nervous person, an emotional person that I knew I wanted things that were gonna just help ground me the morning of the wedding and just allow me to feel good going into everything. A few more things. You should find out if your hotel or where you're getting ready has a long mirror. Mine did not, so we had to go find one in their storage room and luckily they were able to give me one, but if not, I was like ready to go to Target. They have those $10 mirrors that hang over the door, so I recommend getting one of those. You're really going to want that. Also, any snacks or drinks, just so make yourself feel comfortable that is the theme here i want you all to feel comfortable because i feel like having these things especially after going to the hospital really helped me just feel so comfortable on my wedding day okay so i feel like those were my must-have things for wedding day obviously you're gonna have like your makeup and your purse and all your like bridal accessories but these were things that really just helped me feel comfortable in the room just wanted it to feel really peaceful and zen and comfortable i just said that um before walking down the aisle but i love you all dearly thank you for watching this video i'm definitely going to make another video where i break down bridesmaid dresses gifts all my details and things so stay tuned for that let me know if you have any questions or want to see anything and i'll see you in the next video bye everyone